Kenny, thanks. Another big story tonight. After a statement from the mayor of Scottsdale yesterday opposing the Arizona Coyotes' new arena plans in Phoenix, our Fort Hatchet following up, digging into what the Scottsdale mayor is looking for and hearing from Phoenix lawmakers about the project. Scottsdale Mayor David Ortega toning down his opposition to the Arizona Coyotes' plan to build a new arena, though an arena on this land right here is still far from a done deal. We followed up with Ortega, who issued a clarification, hoping to see the Coyotes create an entrance at 64th Street rather than compounding traffic on the Scottsdale side of Scottsdale Road in the development. Ortega says he was never contacted by the Coyotes or offered a meeting. In his initial statement, he wanted to make sure the project's water came from Phoenix. So every city owns its own set of pipes that serve its own customers. There are some limited examples where we have interconnects between our systems to help support, um, you know, if somebody were to have a catastrophic failure. The auction site is located in Phoenix in between water supplies of Scottsdale and a Phoenix water main. The state land department estimates the infrastructure cost to any buyer will top $80 million on top of their winning bid that as new development comes in, it's responsible for building all of the water and sewer and roads, all of the infrastructure that it needs in order for that development to move forward. Last week, the Coyotes publicly lobbied the Phoenix mayor's office on X, though it's not clear why the mayor would be involved in a private development. Our Javier Soto pressed Coyotes president and CEO Javier Gutierrez about if the team would need taxpayer funds for the project. We do not want taxpayers to be on the hook for this. We don't want there to be a single dollar from taxpayers coming in. And we have been very clear that we can move forward without any of the requests for property tax abatement or any of the requests for uh, dollars going into any of those buildings. We as the developer will not be making any of those requests. If true, that's a step down from what the team was looking for in the failed Tempe bid. As for the Phoenix plan, the arena would sit in District 2. And in a phone call, the district city council member, Jim Waring, said he hasn't met with the Coyotes' representatives in six months and says he's skeptical an arena may be the best use of an attractive piece of land. In Phoenix, Fort Hatchet, ABC 15, Arizona.